I think uh, the protests, as you said, will not are not making any difference because something is going on where the government is not doesn't care is is insensitive. So it's not going in the going by protest that will that obviously will help us. So it has to be some other kind of approach, right? So a, re yeah. a, a revolution is going to happen. I used to think that it would be you know something forceful. You know, it doesn't even have to be that way. Today's president. What's wrong in calling for a revolution? So Shawara, if, if it was wrong, you think Shawara would be president one day? Yes, of course. You'd if, be... if 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 Buhari, eh, see, anybody can be president. Since Buhari has become president, Bola Metinu has become. Anybody can become president, including Shawara. Of course, of course. This pre, Buhari called for a revolution in this country, became president. Bola Metinu called for a revolution in this country, he became president. Okay, so what's wrong in calling for a revolution? Whether it is revolution of idea, but I mean, anybody can become president. Of course, of course. This why call for revolution in this country became president. But I mean, call for revolution in this country became president. Okay, so what's wrong in calling for revolution? Whether it is revolution of ideas, whether it's revolution at the ballot uh, box. If it was wrong, for, uh, if revolution was wrong, as they want people to believe, why did why call for revolution? Why did Bola call for revolution? I feel that the generality of Nigerians should galvanize around a young person, the person who is not a member of the establishment, the person who we punish politicians and non-politicians alike for bad behavior, and that is why I prefer my issue right? because I know for a fact. That the idea of it, or the possibility alone of it, will make all the ruling elites run away from the country. You know, because the reason why our country is this bad is because we have a situation in our hands where people are doing what is wrong and they're not and there's no repercussion for it. And that's why somebody can steal 80 billion and there will be no repercussion. He knows that there will be no repercussion. And that's why another person will be encouraged to do the same. That's why terrorists can kill 80 something people in a day and there will be no repercussion. Nobody will go after them, they will never be arrested, and, and it is protesters that will be arrested. In 2027, you think a merger or a coalition of political parties will do the thing? Is that what you think? Well, I think this president. That's general Bola Metinubu. Why are you calling him a general? Yes, because he's behaving like one. He's behaving like one. The Bible says by their foot you shall know them. This particular president is behaving like a military general. Because only a military general will arrest 2,400 protesters. Detain over 100 and something people in Kujie prison. Detain over 800 people in Kano prison. Detain people who are protesting in Kasina prison, Kaduna prison, all over the country. The military didn't do it. So he deserves, deserves his accolade. You're not worried general. about talking about the Nigerian president the way you're talking? Will, will this be the first time I'll be arrested? Will it likely be the last? Will it be breaking news even if I'm arrested? Still news. And after all, if I'm arrested, I'll have opportunity to sleep and relax. So I barely relax or sleep properly these days. So there's nothing new. He, the, the man deserves his flowers. He's a general. You should commend him for his tyrannical moves. So you, you give honor to whom honor is due. Honor is due to, to, to President Olamet Tinubu, the general, for the tyrannical moves that he has been making. There are all sorts of different ways that... The revolution is going to happen, and it's not going to be peaceful. That is it. Mm. There are no two ways about it. Mm. It's not, yeah. It? Not less, yeah. Not necessarily, yeah. Mm. I don't think anything. That's what's going to happen. I, I, I don't think. Look, Nigeria is so broken. Nigeria has been. Look, these politicians, they have mastered. Look, if nothing happened in the last election, I know of people that came now from the yes. came back from, from China just to vote in the Nigerian election. Yeah. And then one man decided Yakubu is still walking around in Nigeria as a painter. Nothing happened to him. Who? Yakubu, the I, I next I next chairman. All right. And you made you made some laws. You traveled. You brought a money was voted. I think it's really good that he's still walking around. He's still in that position, isn't it? Billions of naira. And we've is, forgotten about him. That guy, you know. Yeah, he traveled all over the place on the internet, sanitizing the people on what needs to be done in the election. People were, man, then at the end of the day, the guy did all the magic that he did. Even when they went to the tribunal, they killed even the one that is in the constitution. They taught, the judges turned it upside down. Look, Nigeria, even when they did it, someone like Asari Dokubo came out and threatened people or which is 1847 on live television and you're telling me somebody like um that guy in 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 in, in lagos was his name the the motopark guy M that was making people's M head M M M M M M he, he kept his family <laughs> and look let's face reality oh Nigeria is broken it, along it, 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 lines, it, it, along it, it, it's gonna happen regardless it's gonna happen. Look, it can happen. The only thing is, 
truth. The only thing that can happen in Nigeria that's going to work today is military takeover. If you are telling me that the populace will do anything, they're not going to do anything. I'm sorry. I, uh, um, the military takeover is not going. How is that going to happen? Because you know the people who are in charge of the military right now. You know, you know mm. you, one thing about the military, right? The military doesn't, yes, they respect the ranks. Remember that Major Gideon Offer's coup was, they were all majors. All of them were all majors, right? Mm. Now, even the time of Molitala Mohammed as well, they were lower ranks. Mm. As soon as they got into power, they promoted themselves, right? So those ones in those ones in on that high table, we don't need them because they already. The other day, I saw the uh, army chief when he came out of a plane. I don't know where he was going. He was walking around with a walking stick. You need to see the guy. I see. Then he looks like a politician. He already has a pork belly. An army chief. So can you is he fit? He's not. So it's not those people I'm looking at. If you're telling me that the masses will come out and have a revolution, hell no. It's not the other day I was telling somebody when they said about hunger protests that's going to be destroyed like that. I told him nothing is going to happen. The guy was shocked. He said, Why do I say I said, look, look at me, it's not going to happen. First of all, there's no protest in Lagos. There's no protest in the whole of the south in the southeast. There's no protest in some of the northern northern states. So when you look at it, you know that people are what you're so I'm thinking that it's not a military coup, not a revolution way, not in the way that people think, okay, we're all going to just come and make a plan now and and then go and um, um, fight the government and attack. Because yeah, people are even so hungry, and as you said, the country is broken. <laughs> so, but when it's going to happen, it's not going to happen in the way that we're thinking. But people will not continue to we'll unless they say to themselves, "Yeah, I'm ready to just drop dead and drop dead and die any any day. I'll be waiting for that death." You know, that's the only way they will keep quiet and allow this to continue. Thank you, guys. Thank you very we much for the conversation. Thank you. Right. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Right. Uh, give us your comments in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this conversation and I hope that it has brought some things to your mind. The different areas that we touched uh, religion, Abika Dabiri, the reaction of governments when threats are made against uh, the Igbos and the lack of reaction, and also the religion and the gods of men walking around Nigeria and the effects on the populace. Give us your comments here and let's all come together to rub minds on what's happening in our country. Thank you for being with us. If you're new here, remember to like, subscribe and share our video if this conversation made any difference in your thoughts. Remember, we're here for conscious empowerment. Thank you for being with us again and bye-bye.